Hi, I'm Kylie Taylor and thanks for tuning in. When we start working on our body shape, most people experience more success in the first month or so, but then as they stick with it, they find that the rate of results is short-lived and the results seem to plateau. Today, let's cover one of the common reasons that people plateau and how you can start getting results again. Most people who've worked on losing weight or gaining muscle have experienced the plateau. It can be very frustrating and leads most people to spending more time working out. However, more time working out is the last thing that you actually need. Our bodies are extremely intelligent and are specialists at adapting to new situations. If you've found your progress has plateaued, then one of the things that is going to get your body reacting again is intensity. What is intensity? Intensity is not trying to push more weight than you can control or moving so fast that your form suffers or you feel you might faint. Intensity is creating a mind-muscle connection. It's intensifying your focus to make every step or rep count. It is feeling the contraction and paying attention to how it feels. Intensity is working in the zone where you have the balance be between being uncomfortable but in control at the same time. Let me give you an example. A common exercise most people know is the bicep curl. So Bill picks up a 12 and a half kilo dumbbell and swings away at his eight curls as fast as he can. The weight is a little heavy for Bill, so he doesn't realize his hips and his shoulders swinging so much that the bicep is hardly doing any work at all. Jane, on the other hand, picks up a six kilo dumbbell because she wants to be in control of the weight. She tucks her elbows in, in tight, shoulders are down, and her core is engaged. She starts focusing on each rep, making sure that she has full extension and squeezes contraction at the top, and she gets to her six rep. She realizes she, she still has a little more in the tank, so she moves on to the seven kilo for the last two reps. She slows down each curl so the bicep is really feeling the demand. Bill could do five more sets of his curls and still not get as much benefit as Jane did with one set of eight intense reps. Here are some ways intensity can solve our problems. Worried about people in the gym judging you? Well, those people will be the last thing on your mind the moment you turn up the intensity and start demanding more from your body in that session. Worried about the time it takes to work out? Up the intensity and cut your time. Park the car a block away from the gym, jog in, and that's your warm up done. 20 minutes of high intensity training will do the job. Get in and get out, easy. Worried about the cost of a PT for an hour? Turn up the intensity and you won't be able to train for an hour. Your fees are cut in half. Not losing the weight, but you're going to the gym all the time. Well, get off the treadmill, stop yapping and turn up the intensity. Shop that body and don't make the mistake of only doing cardio. Strength training is going to be a huge influence on your body losing the fat. Not gaining the muscle that you want. Well, stop counting the reps and stop saving yourself for the next set. You should be aiming for no more than 10 reps. Up the weight if you can do more than 10 reps. Demand more from your body than your body wants to give you. Haven't got a goal that you can get excited about. Well, if you start turning up your intensity in the gym, you will start to inspire yourself. Believe in yourself and get the motivation you needed to set that goal. The results that you would get will amaze you. I'm Kylie Taylor and remember, success is a journey, not a destination. Mm.